Hi, everybody. I'm uh, News 8 Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkis at WFAA here in Dallas, Texas. I want to give you an update on Tropical Storm Cristobal and what it is doing and what it will do as we head through the next couple of days. We now have Tropical Storm uh, watches and warnings for coastal Louisiana and Alabama. We are expecting a Tropical Storm uh, Cristobal to make landfall late this upcoming weekend. So with that in mind, as we take a look at uh, where the system is right now, and the impact that it will have on the central uh, Gulf Coast. We're looking at already some showers and thunderstorms uh, being spun off here on the outermost bands of it that are moving across uh, the state of Florida and throughout the, the uh, portions, the uh, eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. Kind of a wide circulation with this system. Right now it's 300 and uh, 26 miles southwest of Cancun. Cancun is right around Isla Mujeres over there in the northeastern corner of the Yucatan Peninsula. So uh, it's just a little island just off, the, uh, just off the coast of Cancun. But so that's where it is, 326 miles southwest of Cancun. Uh, winds at 40 miles an hour, uh, moving to the north at 13. So it'll move out into the Gulf of Mexico uh, over the next, uh, the next several hours. This evening, it'll move out there. By tomorrow afternoon, it will have increased uh, its uh, circulation, and also it, the wind speeds will increase to 50 miles an hour Saturday afternoon. Then uh, Sunday uh, afternoon, uh, winds of 60 miles an hour. Remember, hurricane, uh, it'll become a hurricane when winds are 74. And right now, all indications are that we, although we could have some hurricane force gusts, it looks like the system, when it makes landfall, will be a strong tropical storm. It does not look like it'll make it to hurricane strength. But regardless, whether it did or didn't, uh, a strong tropical storm can do just as much damage as a, uh, a weak hurricane. So here we are. This is Sunday afternoon. Landfall will be Sunday night. And then it will race across uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, and then head up toward the St. Louis area as we head through the middle part of next week. So knowing the track, knowing the location, these will be the impacts. Uh, those, that's the rainfall there across uh, Louisiana, also uh, Mississippi and uh, Alabama, anywhere from three to 10 inches of rain, lower amounts of rain the farther north that it moves. And winds, as it makes landfall, it'll have winds of 50 to 70 miles per hour. So some strong winds with this system and certainly the risk of severe weather as well with any landfalling tropical system. As far as the storm surge goes, uh, coastal Louisiana on up into the New Orleans area and then over toward uh, Biloxi and uh, up toward Mobile. Storm surge could be anywhere from, you know, a foot or so on up to four feet right along the coast, uh, the Gulf Coast area. So as we continue to watch this system, here's, here's one of the models. This is a European model. I believe it has a good handle on it. You can see a little center of circulation there as we move through uh, Saturday night. And then you can also see some circulation as it starts to make landfall. That's Sunday night at 10 o'clock. So Sunday night is when this system, as of right this moment, will make landfall. And you can see those orange and yellows there uh, anywhere from uh, Hattiesburg on over to Mobile, uh, New Orleans. There could be some severe thunderstorms and maybe even a few, uh, a few tornadoes, of course. It's typical with these landfalling systems. And then it will just move right up the... Uh, right up into the Midwest as we head through uh, the noon hour on Tuesday. So a lot of rain with this system. Uh, it's interesting to take a look always to take a look at the spaghetti uh, plots. And we're looking at just a compilation of all the models. And boy, they have been amazingly consistent over the last uh, four to five days. They have consistently brought it into uh, Louisiana. Uh, they have varied just a tad. Uh, they have shifted just a tad more to the east in the last 12 to 24 hours or so. Uh, but again, uh, it, this system does look like it'll make landfall in central or eastern coastal Louisiana. Right now, again, still a, a tropical system that we're watching. Cristobal down in the, just about ready in this evening to move out into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll keep an eye on that. Right now, the impact on Texas, right, it looks like it'll be minimal. Although I, one thing that I find interesting is this system moves away from uh, North Texas on Tuesday on the backside of this system, since we'll be to the west of it, we'll have some sinking air on the backside of this system. Uh, and that sinking air, that subsidence, will allow our temperatures to shoot up. So we have two things going uh, against us here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in North Texas uh, that will allow us to climb to near record high temperatures on Tuesday. The record high is 102. My forecast high on Tuesday is 101. So we're looking at some really hot temperatures due to this system uh, 
having us on the west side or that subsidence part of the system, the sinking air, and then we'll have some compressional heating in advance of a cold front that'll be moving into North Texas uh, on Tuesday night. So the combination of the front moving in and the air really warming up in advance of that and the sinking air on the backside of the system will allow our temperatures to be at or a little bit above 100 degrees. So some near record heat with this system. Right now with the current track, I have no rain in North Texas. Any rain in the state of Texas would be in Far East Texas. Make sure you keep it right here on the WFAA YouTube channel. I'll keep you updated on the tropics as we head throughout the season.